Well, Ann Coulter, of course, the best-selling author and uh, great columnist. And uh, make sure you're following her on Twitter. Hey, also, the big thing now is Substack. So make sure you sign up for her on Substack. It's annecoulter.substack.com because when it uh, when you do that, you're getting columns, you're getting videos, you're getting podcasts from her all day long. annecoulter.substack.com. Ann Coulter, how you doing? How are you, Mark Simone? I don't know. I don't know. What the hell's going on in the world? You got a confused old man as president. You got crime out of control. Every what's I, I, is this going to keep going on like this? Uh, it's pretty bad. But um, later this year, we should be starting the 2024 presidential campaigns, and then the oceans will part. And Ron DeSantis will emerge. <laughs> uh, That's going to be fun. The media is already working overtime, <laughs> lying about his record. What's funny about DeSantis is um, he just keeps plowing along. He doesn't announce what he's going to do. He just does it. And he does great stuff over and over and over again, throwing out the um, – the racist curricula for colleges and high schools, um, throwing out the really disgusting um, pornography and non-binary transgender nonsense being foist on kindergartners, standing up to Disney, um, keeping the state open for COVID. Florida got a lot of refugees uh, during COVID with the um, masking and, and mandatory vaccines every place else. You know, I've met people in Florida who've come not only from around the country, but from Europe. Uh, and they say, I believe, I believe DeSantis has mentioned this, but I, I've heard it straight from the horse's mouth that when they arrived in Florida, it felt like going from East Germany to West Germany, <laughs> free at last. <laughs> Uh, hey, explain the latest thing uh, that DeSantis did about this curricula, or as you'd say, curricula. But in this case, case curriculum is this uh, black studies thing, uh, which seemed a little uh, propagandist, the way it was written. <laughs> it's just the usual crazy nonsense from the Kimberly Crenshaw, the mother of intersectionality, um, where we must promote black women most of all because because they are are women and oh they've been discriminated against so much on blacks uh, and black so um, um, that puts black women and I guess transgender black women with disabilities at the top of the totem pole so um, you know it's just basically blaming white people for everything yeah and the problem is uh, you you want to have that kind of stuff the good part of it worked into your history curriculum or whatever whatever is valid but um, well, there's what the CRT people are doing. Yeah. I mean, the idea that Americans think they aren't teaching about slavery. Oh, they're teaching about slavery. There is not a classroom in America where they do not know more about, about slavery than, than about the American Revolution. It is slavery, slavery, slavery. But no, this is this nonsense where it, that's treated as if it's a serious academic discipline. Um, I loved how um, when CRT, critical race theory, um, was first being um, noticed mostly by fathers at home during COVID, seeing what their poor kids were being propagandized to during COVID. Um, when it was first um, noticed, uh, the big claim all over MSNBC and CNN, you know, this is a very rigorous law school um, discipline. It is not taught in in high schools. Not taught in grade schools. This is and 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 you'd see all, all these frauds on MSNBC. I can't even discuss critical race theory because I I, I don't know it. It's it's a discipline like physics <laughs> or um, you know <laughs> nuclear science. No, no, it's just calling everything racist. Yeah. But this is part of this scheme that's been going on for many years, and we just weren't paying attention. Uh, where left wing uh, crazy started to take over our school curricula, and uh, yes. through the years, it started to turn them into indoctrination camps. Where did that begin, and how did we miss that? That's a good question. Um, that was a big. Um, if you read about the <laughs> the Communist Party, uh, and starting you know with mass immigration, I might add, it was heavily brought here by immigrants. Um, communism, um, and then joined by particularly wasps 
this at Harvard. Uh, but but this was, you know, part of the plan. Take entertainment, take the media, and take the schools. And I'm not saying that today these are, um, luckily, thanks to people like Ronald Reagan, Joe McCarthy, J. Edgar Hoover, communism is no longer... Um, or at least the Soviet Union is no more, not being directed by the Soviet Union, but these are the children of, of, of the communists. And it just sort of runs in the family, the same way you'll have generations of often Irish uh, Catholic families in New York becoming firemen, becoming policemen. It kind of runs in the family. You do tend to get... Um, sort of ethnic preferences for certain lines of work or, or group preferences. And, and in this case, um, I think it's kind of a left-wing commie thing. And boy, were they right. The march through the institutions, take Hollywood, take the media, take the schools. Um, you, you got the country. Yeah. Uh, hey. That's the 1776 Project. I don't know if you've heard about it. Oh, yeah. Um, Ryan Jardusky. I mean, that is one of the most important Packs, one of the most important, I get things to pack, movements in the nation. He is, is, is going around the country helping these, these mothers, fathers, housewives, helping them overturn the school boards. And he keeps winning and winning and winning. Wow. Hey, I never asked you, uh, we're talking with Ann Coulter, I never asked you about George Santos. I love this guy. He's like a parody of all congressmen with the lies and the, <laughs> well, what do you think of George Santos? Well, you were the first person to say that to me. And I laughed and laughed, and the moment you said it, I'm sorry, you were there first, I got to admit it, um, the, it was like a eureka moment for me, and let me just say, you're going to like my column this Oh, week. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, no, listen, they all lie about everything. Biden lied about having three degrees, Blumenthal lied about fighting in Vietnam, they all lie, and this guy is like uh, just a great parody of them. And, uh, what yes, you- and I'm a little indignant that uh, you know the left is giving us no credit, we Republicans, for our diversity efforts. Um, here we have a gay Latino in <laughs> New York, out in New Mexico. We have um, a justice-involved Latino. They always complain, oh, your party of white men, you need, to do- you need more diversity. Okay, we got our diversity. <laughs> well, uh, hey, also... Uh- Last week into the weekend in Atlanta, they had the most serious riots trying to destroy a massive police center and all of that. And men, so a number of the rioters have been charged with domestic terrorism. How come you see no coverage of this? Nothing. It's just hushed up. It was Antifa. <laughs> I believe that's known as a rhetorical question. Yeah. Um, it was, <laughs> yeah, no, whenever they're always the left, the media, the ent- basically the entire prestige media, they're always so excited when there's a mass shooting, leap out, as they did with the one out in Monterey Park. Um, I, I sent it out on a sub stack. Um, all of these Democratic officials saying it was, you know, anti-Asian hate and yeah. celebrating the the lunar the lunar new, new year as if Americans have any idea what that is. But no, the important thing here is there's been a mass shooting. Number one job of a Democrat: celebrate diversity. Anyway, um, so we get a lot of coverage of that with lots of people on Twitter blaming another white male and Donald Trump with his with his genocidal Chinese flu line about COVID. And uh, then, nope, nope, actually it was a Chinese man, as was the one a few days later in Half Moon Bay, another you know immigrant-centered mass shooting, of which there are a lot. I've written about this before. They disappear from the news so you don't know it, so the media can keep lying and saying, well, most mass killers are young white men. Oh, no, they aren't. Oh, no, they aren't. In any event, as soon as I, – I mean, anyone listening here knows um, – as soon as they found out it wasn't a white male, it just kind of drops from the news. And on the Atlanta night of rage, they're not only um, white in this case, they're privileged whites. So how about we seek a little equity here and really throw the book at them? Oh, no, 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 Here we have privileged whites. You want to be a privileged white person, be, be a, a, a wealth, come from a wealthy liberal family, which these kids pretty much all do, including the child of an elected official 
yeah. a transgender child. I won't say whether it's a male or female. Born male, now a girl. Um, and his, her mother, big lefty up in Massachusetts, um, you know, taught her to him, her to hate the police. Uh, and yeah, she's he, he used to get a hand slap. Hey, 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 black people! How about how about demanding some really tough sanctions here? How about go, throwing these guys in the who scale? Yeah, uh, we're out of time. But uh, if you want more, uh, Ann Coulter at Twitter, and uh, the best thing now is Substack, where she does podcasts, videos, a column, everything. Just go to annculter.substack.com, annculter.substack.com. Of course, get all of her books. And Ann Coulter, thanks for being with us. Good to talk to you, Mark Simone. Bye-bye. All right. Take care. Uh, oh, and check out the webpage. We've got a lot of great video up there. These are two of my favorites. This is two classics. CNN has always been bad, always these angry left-wing anchors. Uh, here's two clips. One is Joan Rivers, who's written a very funny book she's on to talk about, and the anchor is going after her for wearing fur, for this. For Watch Joan Rivers tell her off and just walk out on live TV. And then uh, the next one is Andrew Dice Clay. I don't know why this anchor was giving him a hard time. But Andrew Dice Clay just explodes. They're screaming the F word at him live on TV, and then just storms out. Take a look. It's all up on the web page. Go to 710wor.com slash mark. 710wor.com slash mark.